Hello, I'm Jason Moran. We are at New England Conservatory's Jordan Hall. It's a beautiful place. Well, I've been teaching at New England Conservatory for the past two years, and Jordan Hall is a, is a, is a fabulous venue. Uh, it's a, one of the great halls, I think, of, of America. Well, currently I'm planning on another bandwagon show with Taras Mateen on bass and Nasheed Waits on drums. So we kind of digest songs and and, and we take the nutrients from them and then we kind of display them again. But we use music from blues genre or classical music or some jazz music or some hip hop music. So we mash them all together. So it's supposed to be fun in the end. And also a duet with Jack DeJanet, which is, um, will be the first time we'll ever perform in a duo setting. Six or seven years ago, we were in a trio with Don Byron together. And um, that was my first meeting and I was blown away because I've been a huge fan of Jack DeJanet so long and so it's sure to be a lot of fireworks. I think the first time I performed there as a soloist and my favorite memory is sleeping on a boat the night before and how the, the boat was in the water as I slept and <laughs> how that affected my set <laughs> of music at Newport. Well there was lots of swirls in, <laughs> in what I played. Um, it was the world took control over the music I mean, that's my favorite memory because um, I felt like it was a, a moment of arrival of um, performing at Newport because it's, it's such a kind of iconic space for, for this music. And um, people can always look to Newport because it has always maintained like a level of, uh, of care with the kinds of sounds that it presents to its audience. You know, and hopefully it gets passed on too. And now it's important that, uh, that my generation and younger generations also get accustomed to going to a space like Newport that continues to reflect the current state of the music today. And it's important that, that young people at least have an opportunity to explore music. An instrument as a, as a place of, um, you know, can enrich the brain. Um, and I think listening is the same thing. It, it does a lot to listen to some music that doesn't necessarily have words to it, uh, to explain everything. That it can be abstract because life is so abstract yet we continually try to make it something that we can understand. I mean, well, there's Thelonious Monk is my major influence, um, period. Uh, I consider him the reason that I'm still playing today because I didn't like piano at age 13. But Thelonious Monk was like a new space and, uh, and it made me want to practice piano again because I didn't necessarily want to, but now I had a reason to. I'll name three. I think, well, one Esperanza Spalding, who's kind of continuing to define her landscape. She does not choose one thing that she can kind of perpetually presents over and over again. So she's kind of becoming an icon. So it's showing the, all this possibility in the music. I love that about her. Um, Ambrose Akamusery, uh, the way he plays, the way he writes, his sincerity and how he's playing. And thirdly would be Taishan Sori, who's a drummer, um, composer, multi-instrumentalist, who's really cer searching for the, the core truths of music. So these three kind of have, you know, have been shocking me consistently. And um, that's what I want done to me, is to shock me over and over and over again. And they're doing a good job of it. This is Jason Moran, and I look forward to seeing you at Newport in August 2012. Bring your suntan lotion. <laughs>